is here, right? Right? And it tells you here what number it is for. So this is one that turns the power on and off. So this has to, the machine um, needs to be turned on so it warms up for 20 minutes before you can use it. So that's why it's on. So it, right now it's on there, okay? The, you need a, a blank or a zero uh, tube, right? That's why we did the zero concentration. Mm -hmm. So and, uh, whatever you use to do your dilutions, whatever solution, here we're using Drapkins. So your zero or your blank tube will be Drapkins. And that's what we're using to mix, yes? Mm -hmm. so, so if you put this, so once you turn it on, to zero it, you must have a tube in here or else you cannot zero it, all right? So you put your blank solution and you actually zero with this knob. Now, this is where people get, you see a lot of people at the test, what they do, you try to zero with this knob. That's just the, the power button. You cannot zero with that. And that's why um, the instructor, she had a problem with that because she didn't put a tube in there and she's trying to zero it. Well, this is misleading, it says two set zero. Right, two. Well, not, yeah. It means, don't worry about that way, it says to the zero, uh, to insert your blank. So when you turn that on, you can play with that if you want and put it wherever you are. This is actually to, when you put your unknown, to set to, to full scale which is actually, the want you to put it to full scale. So this is actually zeroing it, okay? See that? So when you put it, you want to start full scale, and we're using the lower scale, that's the absorbent scale. The upper scale is the transmitter scale. So if you, you're trying to do it with this, forget it, okay? Right. So that's not how it works. Of course, the wavelength is 540 we are using for hemoglobin. So this has to set, you know, set your... That's always 540. 540, right. So it's not always set on 540, but you're going to make sure it's set on 540. Yeah, okay. okay. But that's right. our constant, 540, when we're doing... For hemoglobin only. Okay. If we're doing glucose, that's right. different. Okay. All right? So, um, so that set to z once it's set to zero, right? And uh, you want to make sure it's on zero. And when you read, you're going to read it to the closest. So you can see the absorbent scale goes from zero to, to two only. That's why I plotted on there, zero to two. So you're going to read it to the nearest, right? So if it's right here, right? Mm -hmm. Like that, what would you read it as? Uh, zero point. Point two. Point zero two. Yeah, you're going to read it in between. It's actually... Yeah, 0.025, okay? So it starts from 0 0.01 to 5, right? And then to point 0.1 and so on. So if it's in between, you try to right, to round off to as near as you can, okay? And uh, so once you set to 0, right? So you write down all your, uh, your concentrations. And then you do one tube at a time. You don't, don't reset this knob. Don't touch this knob again. Right. And also Otherwise, the same. Otherwise, if we did, we'd have to reset. The right, you have to re-zero the whole thing. Okay. So once you zero, you take this out. You don't use this no more. And in the end, you should re-zero to make sure it, was, it stayed at zero. Okay? So. All right, so this is our unknown. So do... Um, I know how good.